How's it going guys? My name is Infiltrator and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. In today's video we're playing against my friend Majin Rukum again, but this time he's going to be running his Majin Buu team, which is apparently Videl, Majin Buu, and uh, Yamcha. So I'm really excited to learn how to play a lot of Majin Buu from him since he was one of the original Majin Buu players in Season 1. And I mean, he's an incredible Ginyu player. If you haven't watched the other video where I did play against him while he was running Ginyu, he absolutely destroyed me and that was a curse cross up. Um, and now he's running Videl, who I have learned a little bit about how to play against. I've talked to people and I've played a few more Videls over time and I've kind of learned that just holding down back and preparing the 2H is kind of the way to deal with it. I did the wrong combo there. I went for the medium version instead of the light version, but it's okay. That's what Vanish is for, to correct those mistakes. And I learned how to do some really good Oki with Majin Buu, in fact. Um, when you go for the sliding knockdown, what you're supposed to do is throw your fat so that it just locks him down. It beats pretty much every option. Wow, that was a reset. I was not expecting that reset. Okay, and we're stuck in the corner against Videl. You hate to see it, which is why I'm swapping out. <laughs> I do not want to deal with her in the corner. Too. I cannot believe go on clip. A lot is going on right now. This is a very fast paced match. Let's not, okay, I dropped that. That's okay. And nice finish on his part. We're stuck in the corner again. Hopefully we can get out. Nice, uh, we're back in here, but I down teched and pressed 2H, which is a habit that I've picked up, and it's something that I probably shouldn't be doing, but it works really well against a lot of people, so maybe it'll keep working against this guy, but who knows. And we're gonna go in and knock him down, that's okay. Uh, we can't really do fat toss full screen because it doesn't reach that far, but if you, you have to run up if you want to use it in mid screen, and we are not gonna drop this combo, I hope. Yep, okay, we're good. So, I've learned quite a bit of Majin Buu combos at this point. See, Fat Toss is just an incredible Oki choice. And we go for the optimal stuff here, and Majin Buu should be dead for now. Uh, as long as I don't drop it, yeah, okay, the level 3 is going to kill him. Our Majin Buu is doing so much work right now, it's crazy. It makes me, uh, like, honestly, it feels so good being able to actually use him in a match, just because he's just a new character that I picked up recently. And I've spent quite a lot of time live in his congos and stuff, so that I would be able to actually do this. And at this point, it's just about learning how to do his stuff in neutral, like being ready to mash his J2H in the air to like stop him from super dashing his JH, which hits full screen, and actually learning how to do safe block strings. And I dropped those corner loops. It's okay, we don't always have those, but Yamcha should be dead here. As, yeah, okay. This combo's gonna hit, and Yamcha is now dead. That was a very easy for 1 0 us. That was surprising, but it's okay, it works out like that sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm surprised that I'm act actually, you know what, we almost have the exact same teams. I'm just running base Vegeta while he's running uh, Videl actually. So other than that, we're pretty much the exact same, besides the order of the team, I guess. And I started off round J2H there because a lot of people like to like jump up and do something and that kind of stops them from doing it. And I'm not going to lie, that was a very lucky um, reflect bait, I guess in Videl's case a dodge bait, because I pressed 2L and it did not come out, so it's okay. Oh, it was a nice dodge, actually, but he's getting hit by that. These two H's all over the place, actually. And now I'm not even expecting to get hit with it, so I can't convert off of it properly. Okay, he sparked. He got, we got an early spark out of him. That's good. And let's... Okay, we got hit by the Vidal mix. I should have been ready to 2 H that. Okay, that's fine. Is he going to go for the reset here? I can never really tell when people are going to go... Yeah, he went for the reset. <laughs> Luckily, I was matching spark. I did not want to deal with that, and he did not vanish cancel properly. He went into the super dash, which is... And I dropped the combo. You hate to see it. But we still got the kill. Yeah. So, what I meant to do there was go into fat toss so I could just drag and rush him and kill him right there. But I pressed H instead by mistake. And so he managed to survive. Okay. And now it's down to Majin Buu versus Majin Buu. But luckily we have Yamcha assist, which is an incredible neutral tool. And we're going for the knockdown here. Go for the fat toss. Okay. It works. You love to see it. That was a nice vanish on his part. I should have been ready. I should have expected it. Okay, and I'm honestly, <laughs> oh, I dropped it, okay. Um, my defense has been pretty on point against Dragon Rushes lately, like, I've been blocking that stuff really well, that was good on his part, nice vanish, and we did not convert off of it, that's okay. A lot of stray hits going on here that I'm just not converting off of properly, but that's fine, eventually we'll get used to being able to confirm these weird stuff with him, okay, nice, he reset us with the JM, with the standing 5M there. Okay, he's gonna go for Fatos, what's his setup? Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to press more buttons, which is why I went for the level 3, but that did not work out at all, as I wanted at all. But our Majin Buu is now down, 
and it's up to my base Vegeta and Yamcha. Honestly, this is a really great situation because base Vegeta is still one of the best characters in the game. We got caught by Yamcha assist. Okay, that happens. Uh, okay, I guess he's not going. Yeah, he's going for this setup. Okay, I don't know why he goes for the J2H anymore. I guess it's just because that's how he used to play Majin. But I'm surprised I didn't get 2H there. Actually, uh, I was expecting him to do that because that was a very unsafe vanish. And that was so unlucky for him. Oh my god, I did not expect to end up on the opposite side. Okay, so Boo's dead. It's down to just Yamcha for him while we have base Vegeta and Yamcha. And we're in a great spot. He does have a little slightly more meter than us, but it doesn't really make a difference. I just need to got, not get clipped by stupid stuff. And of course, make use of Super Dash Yamcha, one of the most broken things that's still around from Season 1. A remnant of Season 1, you could say, when Kazunoka was the best player in the world. Okay, let's see if I can do this setup right. And he got hit by the anti-low, but that's because he dashed forward. And you love to see it. It worked again. It really shouldn't be working, but it is working. <laughs> and that should be his Yamcha dead again. Okay, 2 0 us. That was quick and easy. I mean, it wasn't easy, but it was quick. And well, let's keep going the way things are right now, honestly. This, is, this has been great. And he's swapping his team. Okay, so I guess I will be back with you guys once we have both swapped teams. And we're back, and he decided to swap out his Videl for uh, Goku Black, and then also change the position of his team so that his Majin Buu is his first character. Okay, interesting choice, but I guess our, steam our teams are still very similar. It's just Goku Black's significantly better than Videl. Even though he hasn't been doing me too much injustice recently, if you guys haven't seen the Hook Gang God video where he absolutely could not, he absolutely locked, stopped my Goku Black from doing anything. Okay, so see, I'm trying to learn what he, what um, Majin Raccoon does, particularly with his um, Majin Buu, because he's so good at the character that this is the perfect chance for me to learn how to play. Oh my god! He went for the reset right there with a Dragon Rush. I didn't know that would... Okay. Interesting. See, we're getting the, we're getting experience as we go. So now that I know there's a thing, I'll, I'll be able to copy it, honestly. And we're just going to go for the setup here, and I'm going to go into a Fat Toss Oki, okay, because that's my favorite thing here. Okay, oh, damn, okay, that was a nice nice block on his part, nice reflect, I mean. And we got clipped by Yamcha, so, so we're down for now. Uh, our Majin Buu should not be dead, though. Um, okay. Oh my god, I just got schmixed. That was, <laughs> that was really good mix. I did not expect that whatsoever. I'll keep that in mind for the future as well. I just need to learn how to, oh, that's unlucky. Uh, we can't kill here. Very sadly, we cannot. If Majin Buu was still up, then maybe, but at this point, no. Um, hopefully we don't drop him here. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and this should be Yamcha dead too, actually. Level 1, level 1, and yeah, love to see. We turned that around instantly, just because we got lucky with the happy birthday. Okay, off to, uh, I mean, a decent start, actually. I mean, we're down Majin Buu, who I wanted to be the star of this entire episode. I messed up. I thought base Vegeta was out instead of Yamcha for some reason, so I wanted to go try and do an air-to-air, -air, even though Yamcha's air-to-airs kind of suck. And he woke up mashing. He was not respecting us whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to swap into base Vegeta here because I prefer having Yamcha on anchor as opposed to base Vegeta. Just because Yamcha, in my opinion, is a better solo character. Okay. Uh, nice. We actually managed to bait that out. But we can't really convert off of it. <laughs> going to go for the 2H, get him into that. Okay. We got the setup again. He just jumped out. Okay. And he blocked that. That was nice on his part. But he went for the super dash right after, which was not a great move which is why his Goku Black is now dead. Okay, he's down to solo Majin Buu, which is honestly not a situation I envy. I'm, uh, oh, I'm kind of surprised I actually ended up winning that. He just didn't turn around early enough, which is why our base Vegeta was able to jab faster than Majin Buu was. Nice block, and he... I have no words for what just happened there. He just jabbed me out of my jump. Okay. Uh, is he going for level 3 here? No, he's just going to go for the mix. And he did not get us with any down tech. Yes. Always works. It shouldn't work, but it always does. I love doing that. He's going to have to start adapting to that eventually. Like, he should have already adapted by now, since that's literally all I do when someone guard cancels on me, or vanishes and puts me back in the corner. Just because people love to do jump-ins or super dashes right after that. Okay, now, um, I probably should have started off that round with a J2H. I thought it would have caught him there. That was nice, wow. I didn't know Boo's thing beat uh, Super Dash. That was... I said earlier in this video that I was teching um, Dragon Rushes a lot better. Well, that's evidently not true anymore. And I'm probably going to have to spark to get out of here eventually, but I think I can take this mix. It's just the EX Boo flip, and I cannot believe I let go of the stand button. I thought I was stand blocking that whole time, but evidently not. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to spark here. I do not want to lose Boo here. 
and we have base Vegeta assist, which has a ton of uh, hit stun, which allowed us to convert off that, luckily. And I did not want to try going for the optimal stuff there in the Vanish Confirm, just because it is online and stuff is kind of iffy here. Okay, we got him to spark pretty early, and he called the Yamcha assist to cover him. That was a nice cross-up. I was not expecting it whatsoever. Um, Majin Buu is probably dead here, actually. This match isn't going as great as before, but what can you do about it? Yeah, Majin Buu is definitely dead. And never mind, our Majin Buu's not dead. Okay, <laughs> we take those. Uh, luckily, we managed to bait his Reflect out, and we are going to get his Majin Buu down. He's not going to be dead, but we'll go for the Oki here, and he'll have to take this mix. Nice. Um, he got caught. I guess he was mashing or something, but he got caught by our 2M. And now, all of a sudden, we're actually in the lead here. He does have more meter than us, but we have Majin Buu still alive. And as long as I don't die to this Goku Black, I should be fine. Uh, I got hit by the Dragon Rush. Okay. Never mind. I have teched nothing this entire match. <laughs> I was doing a lot better against Dragon Rushes earlier in the set. That's okay. And nice. Um, I was kind of expecting to do a dive kick there, which is why I was... Okay. Interesting choice. I guess he was mashing level 3 there or something, which is why he got the level 1 instead. And because of that, he's going to get a ton of damage against us. <laughs> and it's nice. So I know I probably shouldn't be telling you all this, but this is actually the OS against Yamcha's level 3 Oki in the corner, literally just mash 2H. You delay tech it though, so you delay, you hold back down and back, and then you delay pressing 2H a bit, and it counters everything Yamcha does, aside from literally going for a 2 Well, I mean, it still counters that, because you end up blocking it anyways. So if he goes for a Dragon Rush, because you delay the 2H, it acts to tech the Dragon Rush. When he goes for the cross-up jump over, it, d it beats the cross-up jump over because that's not safe at all. And if you get hit by, if he goes for the 2M, it just blocks it because you're holding down back and just pressing 2H later. And it actually beats his EX Wolf Fang Fist cross-up as well. So it's just the best option against Yamcha's thing. And we are now teching those. I believe we will not get hit by another Dragon Rush for the rest of the set. Hopefully I'm not wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely going to be wrong. There's no way I won't get hit by another Dragon Rush at some point. And that was a weird interaction. I, I like kind of thought he ran out there and thought so I would end up in the corner, but we got lucky and he just kind of dashed forward and just stopped blocking. So now we're even. He has a whole two bars on us, but uh, we both have pretty much full life Yamchas here, which isn't a terrible situation. Actually, I have more life than this. Never mind. And I kind of expected him to go for a round start with Fang Fist, but that was an incredible jump. Wow. His movement, honestly, is so good with Yamcha. Like, I really need to know, I really need to improve my movement with Yamcha in the neutral instead of just going in and just hoping to get a lucky hit here and there. And I'm not exactly sure when they did that. Uh, they introduced that change where you could go for the. Okay. I already fell for a Dragon Rush, and I said I wouldn't. I would not get hit again. I was wrong. His Yamcha ends up winning this set. Um, but as I was saying before, I'm not exactly sure when they introduced the thing where you could just go straight from um, a J214M in the air into a level 3 on the ground without using the level 1 in between. I always thought that that would whiff if you didn't go for the level 1 first, so maybe that's some change they added in pretty recently, but I guess I gotta start incorporating that into my toolkit. And we are already off to a not so great start. Uh, he started to use that stuff, okay. Okay, we're down in the setup already. I might want to go for an... Well then, we already got hit. I knew that was an option, but I wasn't expecting it. This is, that's just Majin Buu's setups are just so good. I'm gonna have to spark here. I do not want to deal with that setup. And we got lucky with, I mean, it wasn't lucky. It was a reaction with the J2H, but we dropped the combo. But I don't know why he's just been super dashing so much or just getting hit by our, J, our two H's so much. It's just, it's throwing me off. And we failed the conversion. Majin Buu would have been dead there, even if I didn't go for that. And I should have believed in the 2H. You hate to see it. Oh, we got him here. Never mind. He should definitely be dead here. As long as I don't mess this up. Yeah, okay. We got him. So our Majin Buu ended up beating his Majin Buu. Um, that's just, I guess, because of my assists and just a lot of weird stuff happening. But I've learned a lot from this set with him so far. And we're going to keep going with this. So hopefully I'll be able to pick up some more tricks with what to do on the restand itself. And we got him in here to the restand. And he, we're going to go for the Dragon Rush. Yes. He wasn't expecting it from us either. So I guess no, I guess it's just tough to block in general. And we block, we dropped it again. That sucks. We've been dropping a lot of stuff. Oh my god, we actually converted off that. I mean, he did get hit by base Vegeta's assist, which kind of makes up for it. And 
that was that was so unlucky. I don't know why he woke up pressing buttons, honestly. Like, that was not the best idea, but even then, our fake cross-up should not have worked there. <laughs> okay, I went for the 2-H. Th that was a nice jab. He jabbed us out of the vanish, actually. Um, unfortunately, I do not have Touch of Deaths with Majin Buu, especially not without Sparking, so his Yamcha cannot be dead. Uh, we just gotta go into the setup here, and we missed our setup timing, but that was so incredibly unlucky for him. Um, is his Yam- no, he's not- his Yamcha is not dead. We didn't have enough meter for him to die here, but I'm gonna go fake the cross-up again, and never mind. Okay, we should be able to get him here though. That was so unlucky. Okay, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing some more sets with him, and I'll upload that in the second part of the video at some point, but if you like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in Dragon Ball Fighters.